The fact that Jewish identity is based on a covenant does not preclude the idea of ethnic origin. An ethnic community feels a sense of collective uniqueness and solidarity. The descendants of Jacob are known as the Bnei Israel, the children of Israel. Indeed, the Bible is cognizant of both a theological as well as genetic kinship between the members of this group. They are physical descendants of the patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their children, though the boundaries of the community are also open to those who choose to join it and embrace the people of Israel as their own. Abraham is credited with having converted many to his monotheistic faith. Individuals who convert are adopted into the family of Israel. Jews were a group and were recognized as directly or indirectly connected or attached to a specific territory. Jews also had a sense of shared history, a common language, and possessed one or more cultural characteristics in common. The dual nature of Israelite identity is exemplified in the case of the prophet Jonah. When Jonah tried to flee his prophetic mission to the city of Nineveh, he boarded a ship bound for Tarshish. The ship encountered a terrible storm. Jonah was asked by the frightened crew who he was and responded that he was both a Hebrew and a God-fearing man. His definition included a national or ethnic dimension, as well as a religious component. It was not merely indicative of his maternal status. The most relevant biblical text that supports the rabbinic view of matrilineal status is the account of Ezra the scribe and Nehemiah the governor of Persian Judea. Ezra and Nehemiah travel with a group of fellow Judean exiles to their ancestral home with the permission and support of the Persian imperial court. In the land of Judah they met various leading families, many of whom had married non-Jewish women. Their children did not speak Hebrew. Ezra was enraged by what he saw and stated, You have broken faith and have married foreign women, to increase the guilt of Israel. Ezra ordered that these women and children be sent away. Nehemiah 10, verses 23-24 states, In those days I also saw the Jews that had married women of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language but according to the language of each people. Nehemiah also condemned these intermarriages, and I contended with them and cursed them and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by God, you shall get, not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. In Nehemiah 13, verses 24 to 25. Interestingly, the book of Jubilees, a book which was popular among the community at Qumran, rejected intermarriage with all non-Jews, even those who had converted. See Jubilees 20, verse 4, 22, verse 20, verse 30, chapter 30, verse 11.